1-3-8-0-7-1. Someone's here to see you. I don't think they'll ever call me a hero, but I, I was. In class, I was the entertainment. I'd sit on top of the desk and I'd dance like James Brown and hold the whole class's attention. <laughs> because after the school bell rung, I was going home to my thoughts. Believe me when I tell you it's not always healthy to be alone with those. Think about it this way. Imagine you're at a Broadway show and attention is kind of like the spotlight. It tells us what to pay attention to at every moment. But what would this show be like if there was no spotlight? But you had background music playing, people talking, and the show playing all at the same time. My brain is different than the brain that normal people have. I have ADHD and ADD, and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, O, P, O, P, O, P, I'm doing it again. Sorry. Let's try this again. Well, Mr. Jenkins, one of the problems is that he doesn't want to do any of the work. No, we're trying but he's just not interested in anything. Well, according to the doctor's report, he doesn't have any learning disabilities. That may be, but my entire class is learning disabled when he's there. Look, I think that he needs to be checked again. A 2016 study by the Yale School of Medicine observed that U.S. teachers recognized attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in their black students at significantly higher rates than their white counterparts, despite the disorder affecting both groups at nearly equal rates. They found that the subconscious racial bias of teachers directs more attention towards the behaviors of their black students. Parents knowing that their children are more likely to be seen as disorderly are suspicious of ADHD diagnosis, leaving black students with ADHD in a double bind where they go untreated and become victims within the classroom. Show through the, show through the poetry. Class Clown by Jacob Mayberry. Disorder by Chris Luce. Me by Justin L. And Simon Says by Ashley Davison Oompa along with the drama distracted by Lisa Loomer and articles from Attitude Magazine in the Sociology of Education. A program. Because the soft bigotry of low expectations should not be a life sentence. Okay, class. The game of Simon Says. You know, when Simon says to do an action, you do an action. But you only do an action when Simon says, we ready? Simon says, raise your right hand. Okay, okay. Simon says, put your right hand down now. Cross your arms. Oh, ho, ho. Simon didn't say. You've got to make sure you're listening. When teachers see ADHD behaviors, they interpret them as defiance. And being suspended once or twice is highly associated with crime. I've had all kinds of medications. All the time they give me these, these pills, small capsules injected with who knows what. And showing them down my throat. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Can we go to McDonald's? I'm on a large Sprite. In a Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, big stack of prescriptions. Oh my 
God, she is cute. Just sitting here is an impossibility. I have to watch, write, and learn lyrics because somewhere deep within the loneliness of my silence, there's a voice yelling for my loneliness. But if you're giving everyone a show, your true face won't show. Okay, Simon says, smile, show us your teeth. You're only as good as you are able. Simon says, raise your right hand again. Wave. Why are you waving? You don't know how to listen? You must not be a good listener at all. There's only one rule. Do what Simon says. We all seem to get the same not-so-subtle hints from school administrators about the deficiencies of our black boys. You know, is there something neurologically wrong with all of our sons? Mr. Jenkins, please sit. Giving a child with ADD Ritalin is like giving a child with astigmatism glasses. So you want to put Jesse on drugs? No, it's a stimulant that the ADD brain needs. You can give him the same instruction day in and day out, but it might not stick. With Ritalin, he simply cannot not pay attention. Real classroom situations and infractions. Throwing a lollipop. Battery. Talking back. Disturbing the peace. Society seeks to change and control black children to suit the environment. That's a key element of the school to prison pipeline. Simon says, speak to your neighbor now. Why isn't everyone speaking now? You chose to play this game and now you're choosing not to play? How dare you ruin it for everyone else? Simon says it's still not time for a bathroom break, so stop asking. Simon says you're not listening. People who don't listen will never be successful. My brain moves at hyperspace. From Tatooine to Naboo and then Alderaan. And while you watch the Death Star, I'm on Coruscant and I arrive back to find that Alderaan is gone. My brain works like this every day. Tapping a pencil on the desk. Destruction of property. Going to the bathroom, t -t disruption of a school function. Listen, Dr. Jinx, Jesse doesn't have ADD. Can a boy be a boy anymore? All the boys in my neighborhood and I were worse when we were kids. They're, they're cops and lawyers and businessmen now. These symptoms, impulsivity, short attention span, risk taking, these are all symptoms of childhood. Is childhood a disorder now? I have a little problem with the idea of, of somebody giving my son drugs to keep him nice and quiet. 50 to 75 percent of the prison population has some form of ADHD. Silenced! I said be silent! Simon says if you can't be silent, how are you to hear what Simon's telling you to do? Simon says sit up straight, tuck in your uniform, and if you don't want to tuck in your uniform, you can go sit in the corner. Simon says you refer to it as Officer Simon from here on. And Officer Simon says, know your place. Smile. You're only as valuable as you are able. Show us your teeth, boy. If you can't handle this classroom, how will you handle your jail cell? 138071. That's time. Wrap it up. I don't think they'll ever call us class clowns hero. I've made people laugh my whole life. This is for all the teenagers who know what it means to be a class clown. I learned that people need a break in between moments and that making someone smile in a classroom can feel like a trophy.